I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel 100%. Yeah, ready? Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you look wonderful. Thank you. You look so beautiful. You look like a bride. Yes, you do. <laughs> Mm. Oh my goodness. I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm. Mm. I've been waiting for this moment. Mm. Have you? Yeah. You're a beautiful bride. Thank you. you I couldn't I couldn't imagine anything but Are you good? Yes. You feel good? Don't be nervous. I know. Don't be nervous. I love you. Enjoy it. I love you too, babe. Alright. I love you. Are we good? Yeah. Right. So I next love time you I too. see you, we'll be right before we walk down the aisle. Alright. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, I'm ready to do this. All right. argue about where the line that divided our room started and ended. <laughs> I learned very early on in our relationship that Justine had little to no difficulty making decisions. Justine and I have been friends for around 12 years now and throughout those years she has always been the truest friend I have ever known. I've never met a more loving and loyal friend than Justine. She is one of the kindest, most thoughtful people I know and has happily taken on the role of being the big sister I never had or never knew I needed. It makes my heart so happy knowing that Justine has found the love of her life. That he is without a doubt the perfect match for my sister. Trey, I'm so proud of the person that you have become today and I'm truly so grateful for the close relationship that we have. I am so blessed to have you not only as a brother but as a best friend. I'm reading on behalf of Erin who is her maid of honor. I read one time that the perfect matron of honor speech should last as long as it takes for the bride and groom to make love. So ladies and gentlemen, please raise a glass to the happy couple. Just kidding everyone. I've known Trey for a, God, a long time. We're not family, we're not friends. We're, we're, we're brothers. Cause I've seen way too much of his ass for the past 26 years.
pleasure of knowing Trey and I when we were growing up, then you would know that we just about killed each other. We fought about anything and everything, and nine times out of ten, the fight would end with one of us having a bloody nose and the other one begging for them not to tell mom. Growing up with Trey was quite the adventure. Most people know what you're in for when you're hanging out with Trey. You can pretty much bet somebody's going to get hurt, and most likely that somebody's going to be Trey. It, it makes perfect sense you're marrying a nurse because you need a medical professional to take care of you given your track record. <laughs> You gotta put her in a love song She's Southern Cold Justine, I know that you would, you, you grew up and your family knew that you'd always find that person, that Prince Charming, that person that would sweep you off your feet. Unfortunately, you got him. I mean, so he's going to do the best he can. I know that it didn't take long for Justine to fall in love with Trey Hathaway and express her feelings for him. Knowing my little sister, she knew what she wanted and she went for it. I remember the first time that she told me about Trey. We were at suicide boat docking and she kept talking about this guy that she had hung out with at docks with a twinkle in her eye. I do know this. Justine, if he takes care of you, like he takes care of the things he really genuinely cares about, you will be treated like a princess from some foreign country. Once I graduated high school and left for college, Trey and I started to become a little bit closer. It was around that time that Trey started seeing Justine, and I don't really remember Trey formally introducing her to our family, which just means that she fit in perfectly. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Trey, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. And I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present for the first time the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Hathaway. Trey, you've been a big part of my life for a long time, and uh, I wouldn't change a thing. Last night, Justine's grandfather brought up how awesome it is that you two are getting married, given how close you are with our Nana Pond. This is just as special for us to have Justine join our family. Teen, I'm so thankful you came into our lives, and you are truly the most wonderful addition to our family. As the years come, I can't wait to watch the way that your marriage and love grow for each other. 
I love you both more than you can ever imagine, and I pray you guys have a lifetime of love and happiness. Trey, keep her young and wild, and Justine, keep him safe and in one piece. Today, I'm sure, feels like the best day ever, but trust me, the best is yet to come.